Hello, this is Anna at Nautilus Yacht Management. Welcome aboard the beautiful Bonaire. Bonaire is a Garcia Passoa, 50 foot long, with a desirable feature of having retractable keel and twin rudders. This means you can access really, really shallow anchorages or even put her up on the beach if you fancy. With the keel down, she has an impressive 2,65 m draft. She is designed as a comfortable cruising yacht that can effortlessly achieve quite, inc quite incredible speeds. The owners are now going to show you through the boat. Enjoy! Now I'm going to show you a panorama shot of the cockpit. Uh, I'm standing behind the wheel. So there's the rear arch uh, with some of the uh, instruments and aerials on that. Past the fishing line, the heaving line, there's a seat at the back for spectators. Solar panel, we've got the bimini frame. And then we've got two winches, we've got the large primary for the jib and a secondary winch there for, for the running back stays or the jib track or the spinnaker. Continuing on, we've got some teak, uh, ornamental teak there, so it's teak but it's, it, uh, you don't have to worry about a leaky deck because it's, straight, it's glued onto the aluminium. Uh, cockpit cushions and some scatter cushions. Going forwards to the forward arch and the spray hood. A couple of winches there for the ropes that come back from the mast. So jib furler, main sheet, that sort of thing. Uh, there's an instrument display up there. I'll show you in another photo so you get a better view of that. Uh, obviously that's the view down the companionway. Continuing on, uh, onto the port side same configuration I should point out we've got four of these little cuddy holders there just behind the the oval teak shape so you can put uh, winch handles gloves sail ties fishing kit that sort of stuff in there so they're pretty handy and turning around the port solar panel the same winches on that side life boy Dan boy uh, seat uh, the solar uh, sorry, the wind generator, which uh, is lashed up because we're getting more than enough power from the solar. And the final thing from this shot, I'll just show you into the lazarette here. So we've got two big, two big lazarettes. Hopefully the light will be bright enough for you to see. If not, I'll take a separate photo. So a huge lazarette space for a couple of outboards. Uh, we've put one in there. At the moment we've got uh, fenders, a stand-up paddle board and, uh, and a kayak, inflatable kayak. We have previously had two bicycles in that lazarette, so absolutely huge. Um, and there's, there's two of those, of course. One of the features we've really enjoyed on Bonaire is the cockpit table, which opens as easily as this. So there you go, large table. We put an elasticated tablecloth on there and uh, we eat pretty much all our meals at anchor uh, using this table outside. So now I'm showing you the instruments above the companionway. So Raytheon with one uh, more modern Raymarine replacement there. I'll pan back and we'll show you the companionway hatch. A very neat design I think. Seals up completely watertight like that, no mucking about with uh, washboards that get lost or, or anything like that. Very, very secure feature and a great watertight feature. Just a short video here to show you the binnacle and the steering position. So obviously you've got the steering wheel here, large steering wheel. Um, behind it, top right, you've got the engine throttle control. Uh, below it you've got the uh, head unit, the control unit for the autopilot. You've got a second control head unit for the autopilot down below near the chart table so you can control the autopilot either from up here or down there. You've got a big uh, traditional compass there in the middle. The bottom left you've got uh, uh, another GPS, so this boat has three built-in independent GPS's and this is one of them. Uh, Standard Horizon, this one, uh, practically brand new uh, with CMAP charts. And top left, the little little joystick you can see, 
is for the bow thruster, and to the left of that, there's an anchor with this which is built by the ports on the bow of the boat. Okay, now I'm going to show you a video of the side decks and fore decks, starting from the cockpit on the starboard side. So here we go, out of the cockpit, onto the side deck. So first thing to point out is the guardrails and the, the gate there are aluminium stanchion posts on the gate for getting in and out and marinas and such like. Uh, here's the jib track, adjustable jib track, Harken. Really thick jib sheets. On the left here, across the coach roof, you can see a wooden, a couple of wooden trestles. That's where we store the kids' sailing dinghy. Uh, it's an RS Terra, fits perfectly across there. We've lashed that down, crossed a couple of oceans with it, so pretty solid lashing down. Our main dinghy, our own tender for going ashore, is uh, obviously on the davits at the, at the back of the boat. So carrying on. Uh, show you a couple of features on the boom as we go past. So here is the Walder boom brake, which I think is an excellent safety feature. Stops the boom crashing violently if you inadvertently jibe or if it's just wobbling around when you're getting the sails down and things. And also there's a boom bag here, which we keep all our ropes in, tidy the ropes into, so you don't have so many ropes hanging around at the bottom of the mast or on the deck, so tidies away into that rope back there. Going up a little bit closer, I'll show you the gooseneck, uh, just the sort of quality and condition of that gooseneck. Uh, uh, washers in there to avoid uh, uh, chafing, uh, solid washers, and really no, no obvious sign of uh, chafing on these, the, the, the gooseneck there. Very solid attachment to the mast, as you can see. Very similar design for the bottom of the rod kicker. Same sort of solid attachment. And uh, no obvious signs of, uh, again, sort of wear and tear on, on, on that attachment. While I'm here, I'll also point out these two sheaths, uh, which are for the up and down ropes for the centerboard. So the centerboard comes up and down on ropes which you uh, winch in the, in the main cockpit. Nice simple system, simple for uh, maintenance, simple for uh, repair, no sort of complicated hydraulics that, uh, that, that uh, if they go wrong they're much, much harder to repair. Uh, okay, so now continuing forwards, stepping past the very solid shrouds. I'll show you the track for the self-tacking stay sail. There it is, again, Harkin. And, uh, and that's, uh, that, that's the stay sail there along the side. Uh, we've uh, we've uh, lashed that to the side, but uh, obviously on passage we have it hanged onto the uh, uh, the stay sail, onto the, uh, the, the, the inner fore stay there. I'll also show you while I'm here the uh, spinnaker pole. Uh, that's securely stored on the front of the mast. And we have a symmetric spinnaker. Uh, we use the pole for both the spinnaker and for uh, pulling up the jib uh, if we want to go goose winged. We went, uh, we elected for a symmetric spinnaker. We uh, replaced it in 2017. Uh, we had a debate about symmetric or asymmetric. We went for symmetric, uh, calculating that we were going to do more downwind sailing uh, really this bigger, than uh, crosswind sailing uh, on, our, on our route. So we went for a symmetric spinnaker. Uh, it has a sock for dousing it. Um, so so that's, that, that's why we have that. I'll show you the uh, winches. We've got uh, three winches on the mast. Anderson 46s and a 40. Uh, that's for hoisting the halyards and doing the jib sheets, um, not jib sheets, the uh, reefing lines, etc. Uh, 
at the mast. So when you're at the mast, you've got these granny bars here for security. So you either lean against those or, um, or you can clip yourself onto those. So, so a good sort of secure spot for, for standing at the mast doing, doing those tasks. So continuing to work forwards. Coming forwards in the boat, we've passed a couple of uh, skylights, I'll show you those, one into the main cabin uh, hatches and one into the forward heads, giving plenty of light into those. And then we've got the uh, forward hatch here, let's open that up. Moving forwards on the deck, I'll show you the forward locker here. We store a uh, our spinnaker in there, and uh, two massive gas bottles, 13 kilograms or 9 kilograms, uh, lasts us about five months in total, so plenty of uh, cooking gas in there. We also have a stand-up paddleboard bag in there, just a uh, good place to store it. Uh, and forward of that, you probably can't see it in the dark, is the anchor chain. We have 75 metres of 12 mil chain, and then a uh, Manson 35 kilogram anchor as our main bow anchor. Uh, we then have another 80 meters of nylon line, so absolutely plenty of scope if you get caught out in a in a big blow somewhere. That all gets put, pulled up with this uh, windlass here, 1500 uh, watts uh, uh, windlass, and. I'll show you we have two bow rollers, one where the chain is going over and on the other side the other one which we use for the snubbing line here which is the, uh, the line with a chain hook that we use for, for actually taking the load, the load on the anchor around this very strong Samson post there. We also use that uh, bow roller uh, when we're tying onto mooring balls. Final thing I'll show you here is the uh, jib and the furling system for the jib. And the jib was new in uh, March 2019. So continuing to come round and walk back down the boat now, down this starboard side. Uh, what will start to come into view now is the spray hood. That spray hood was new in 2016. That has kept us dry across a couple of oceans and many, uh, many uh, a wave over the top and uh, many rainstorms. So, so that's that's pretty dry from the front. And uh, behind that, uh, I'll show you the bimini. Bimini, pretty good for sun. Uh, it's getting getting on a bit. The bimini, just so that you know, uh, doesn't doesn't keep rain out for more than about five minutes. Um, so that's, uh, that's the Bimini. Uh, I'll show you one of the solar panels and uh, show you more of those later on. And there's the wind generator, that's, that's lashed down at the moment. We've got so much power from the solar we, we're not using the uh, wind generator at the moment. So that's just lashed away. And there's our Dan Boy, one of the, the safety features of the boat. Now I'm going to show you a walkthrough of the main saloon. So starting on the port aft cabin, big double cabin here, uh, storage space under, under those bunks. Emily and I hopped bunk in this cabin when we're on passage. When we're at anchor we use the main forward cabin. Continuing on round we come to the electronics control panel and the nav station, chart table, uh, plotter, boat computer, instruments, VHF radio, SSB radio, etc. Continuing round, we see the galley, and then we pass the view forward into the forward cabin. Plenty of light through these skylights here, which I can show you. And then we come to the main below sitting area, a big uh, U-shaped 
set of sofas. These sofas are a lovely red leather. You'll have seen in another picture where we had the loose covers which we always have on to protect those. So this leather is in good shape. And underneath all these benches we've got six deep lockers for storage. We have three for food and three for spares. And then there's another couple behind some of the, uh, the, the backrests. Carrying on round, a couple of uh, lockers up there. Then we come round to the aft heads. Let's quickly show you that. Again, plenty of light. And then round into the aft cabin. The other aft cabin, the starboard aft cabin. Two bunks in there, and the bottom one can convert into. Uh, a double bunk for uh, for, for sleeping and uh, those bunks have both got uh, lead cloths as you can see on one of them. I'll show you some of the controls that are at the top of the companionway stairs here. This is the main engine control uh, next to the battery charge status uh, control shows you all the, the house and the engine battery if you want to and then this is the generator starting panel. These are all at the top of the companionway stairs, which I'll just show you now. Just three steps down, uh, not steep at all, so uh, a nice easy access down into the saloon. I'm going to show you some more of the controls around the chart station now. These are the battery isolators under the chart table seat. In the background you can see the inverter. Uh, in the centre of the screen now you can see the boat computer and under that is the AIS. The boat computer is uh, on that screen there which you can see next to the chart platter. So the boat computer also runs uh, charts and uh, we also use it to get email through the Pacta modem which is there underneath the uh, tucked in underneath the screen which connects to the SSB radio and that's how we get our email when we're at sea or in a, a, in a remote anchorage somewhere. Coming on up we can see uh, the VHF radio and then some of the uh, controls for the instruments including uh, top left there uh, an autopilot control station in addition to the one which is up by the by the wheel so you can alter course if you're down below should you want to. I'm going to show you an example locker here underneath the cushions in the main saloon. So this is uh, one of the, the six deep lockers I mentioned. This one is uh, food. Also while we're here I'll show you this inspection hatch you can see the lights shining in from the sea down there. So there are three inspection hatches like this for looking at the centreboard. So now I'm going to show you a bit more detail on the galley. Starting with uh, this cupboard at the back. So this is a tall cupboard we use for bottles of oil and stuff like that and also dry vegetables garlic and potatoes and things are in there. And a couple of drawers, the top one is for cutlery. A couple of sliding cupboards up here. This one is all our jams and spreads and spices and all that kind of stuff. Looking at the stove, Force 10 stove here, gimbaled stove, that's the, the inside of it. Moving on to twin sinks, hot and cold tap and then a, a secondary tap with a foot pump. Uh, nice uh, porthole there that shows the light coming, out, coming uh, in uh, into the cooking area. And then below there we've got the rubbish bin in that cupboard there. On the top here we've got a, a good locker which we keep uh, cereals and flour and uh, beans and stuff like that, dry stuff in those Tupperwares. And then here's the fridge. 
quite a decent size uh, fridge there. I'm going to show you another part of the galley here. So opposite the sinks and the stove we have this workspace. A drawer for storage there. There's a, a sort of a lip uh, workspace there. That's uh, We find that pretty sociable if you can be working in the kitchen there and talking to people who are sitting sitting down in the, in the saloon. And then we've got a storage cupboard there. We use that for crockery and stuff. Okay, showing you a shot now from walking through from the galley side of the main saloon into the forward cabin or the main cabin one of my favorite rooms on the boat starting on the left we have some storage space under this shelf here good storage space there and then we move on to this red leather sofa plenty of storage space underneath we uh, we keep a computer printer a hoover and a massive pile of books for delivery to the island, just to give you an idea of how much space there is there. Uh, continuing to pan round, we see the forward heads and the shower, and then we've got a hanging locker here. I'll try and show you that. Uh, here we go. So good, uh, good space to to hang stuff, shirts, uh, jackets, that sort of thing. And continuing to scroll round, we have the, the master bed there, uh, a couple of lights, uh, all, all the space under these bunks is also storage, so plenty of storage there. And then completing the tour, looking back into the galley area and through, through into the saloon and the, and the cabin beyond. Plenty of light shining through from the other cabin into here and from here to the other cabin. So. Plenty of light and plenty of storage around here. I'm uh, just going to show you this drawer here, one of one of the bits of storage underneath the bed, so uh, plenty of space there, easily openable drawer. Another drawer there, which uh, opens just as well. Just going to give you another view of the bed in the main cabin, just showing you uh, how that layout works, uh, just showing you the amount of overhead lights, etc. Uh, you know, really blazing into the, in, into this cabin. And the final view of the cabin, so sitting on the bed here, in front you can see a multi-instrument there, so uh, if you're in bed you can keep an eye on the wind, whatever you want to do. A view over to the leather sofa there, and uh, through, into the, through into the heads. Okay, now I'm going to show you the forward heads walking through from the front of the, the main forward cabin. Just a quick view of the forward cabin so you can see us walking through. Here's the forward heads. A uh, nice door, same wood as everything else. First of all on the left you've got, uh, let's come in and close the door so we can see easier. have got a couple of uh, uh, mirror windows uh, there, cupboards there, you can see the stuff inside. There's those, uh, sink on cold, power cable, uh, some big lockers down here. We use those to store our uh, emergency uh, at sea ocean medical kit, so they're pretty full. Shower there. Uh, big overhead hatch that you can clearly see. Uh, more cupboards, mirrored cupboards on this side. So you can see inside those. Uh, the actual head unit there with the Jabsco pump. All new hoses in 2019. Well, that was it for the beautiful Bonaire. For more information, give us a call or send us an email. We'll be very happy to tell you more about this gorgeous boat. Thank you for watching.